filter, huh? I think it's going to have a cap. Just like an old oil filter. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pull that off and there's going to be an element in there. Like a paper element. Yeah. I think so. That's I... what the book looks like. Oh, okay. <sighs> Somebody was hitting on it with a real hammer. Looks like a hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> that happened in 1967. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't hearing it move. What they do, weld it on? Gasket. Let's get a blade in there. Yep. Oh, look how easy it is. What the heck is holding it? You got the tractor going now. <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, it's got one leg it's standing on. That's kind of spooky. Wow. What's there, a rubber O-ring in there or something? It must go into the snow. Though, yeah, it goes in. It fit. It's a fit. There, you got it on run now. Screen. No. <gasps> Ooh, look at that. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's unitized. I hope we get the gasket now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, check out. You can see a little bit of element in there. Well, let's peel this apart. It's got the eagle stamped on it, which is always cool. Yep, the eagle was called Old Abe. That wasn't too hard, was it? Impact tools are pretty neat. There's no spring in there, is there? It feels like there is. Yeah, a little bit of one. Wow. I know for sure I never witnessed anybody do this before. Oh my gosh, where are we going to find that element? Oh, just go to your local 1960s era case dealership. <laughs> you know, I gotta need a time machine to find that? Check that out. Is it good or bad? What is it? I don't know. Is it cloth or paper? It's, I know what it is. It's disgusting. Oh, yeah, well, it's been working. It has, it has been working very well. What is all this junk? I don't know, I'll have to read the book, see if maybe. Ooh, it looks like brass. Maybe it's the type of thing you can uh, brass, soak Brass, a little bit of steel. All the normal wearings and tearings of a clutch looks system. Looks like a lot of fibers. A clutch system. Looks very know? fibrous. Well, it's, it's uh, however many years of well, a fiber. <laughs> I don't think it looks too bad, to be honest. No, me either. I'm kind of happy with it. So, it filters from the inside. It does. It pushes out, extrudes out. So it must go in <clears throat> in the middle. And then well, this looks like a feed right there, right? Yep. See right there? Right there, it goes through. And then it goes through the cooler line up to the radiator. Uh-huh. And then it goes back on the other side of the tractor to the caso valve body. And there, are, there are filings on my hands now. I, I mean, I got little... Oh, yeah. And that is just a filter. I don't think we want to break. In case we can't get one. We'll what do we want to do? Reuse it? We'll have to soak it like crazy or something. Good boy. But that is an interesting filter. It's probably asbestos. I, I really hope so. Well, yeah, asbestos would be the best filter. Yeah. What a neat setup. What do you see in there? What you see is there's the tube with the screen. This whole unit can come off too. Explosion. Where's the pump up top? Right off the shaft. The pump's right at the top. Because the this. shaft's there. Yep. Those are right above it. All right, well, filter's out. I'm glad about that, Con. That's a good idea. Because if that plugged up, it would restrict flow, right? Going back to the cooler. Yeah, well, just do the whole system. Yeah. The whole system, the part of the system that matters, I'm sure. We got this thing tore right down. Right down to the, right down to the snow shovel. Anyway, while we're here and we got the shift plate off, Connor just had to look in here. Had to. Because <laughs> these tractors grind gears. It's a thing with the case o Because they don't have any kind of clutch brake. No clutch brake. So, so you just got case o -matic. If we're to describe case o it's basically a lock-up torque converter instead of a clutch. In front of a standard it's shift a, transmission. It's a torque converter setup with a, a lock-up clutch portion, right? So you, you have a direct and a torque converter just sitting in front of the same eight-speed that you'd get in any other one. Pretty much, you could just you could take this section out and put a put the clutch housing of a normal clutch in here. And but then you'd lose the case o which really, I always thought it was crap, but I guess it's really quite good. Most people do like it. I, I don't know, just reading forms. When I was a kid, we had one, and it always worked good. I don't remember my older brother or my dad ever, ever changing the oil in it. And they bailed with it and they did everything with it. But of course the big problem with that tractor is 
you parked it in November because you never got it started again until April. <laughs> so, anyway, and that was an 800. That was an old 800 with the case matic So, what's the biggest thing we want to look for in here, Connor? Because you've already had one of these transmissions apart on the 730. Yep, I've changed gears in the 730. But you see, uh, there's a little bit of rounding, right? We're and, right here we're yep, looking at. Yep. Exactly. And... Uh, these also, these other gears that are sliding on the shaft with the fork, you're gonna see some rounding on them too. Uh huh. Uh huh. You know. Yeah, but that's very slight. I don't. I don't see a whole uh, lot. Yeah. Some guys. Or am I just an push. optimist? No, it's pretty good. They look good, don't they? Yeah. And we're also spinning it over, looking for chips. I really, really don't want to tear this transmission apart. I really think we don't have to. Oh, that's great news. Yeah. yeah. Because we'd have to take the case on that drive off and stuff like that. Did you take the whole clutch housing off when you did the 730 gears? Yeah. Now, here are the gears you took out of the 730. Well, those are some of them. These are, here are an example of gears that I did not like at all. Well, bring them on over and tell us about them. This one, primarily. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So they got, they got pounded down. There's only, well, three quarters of that gears left. But of course, how far you gotta pound it down before they start shearing off. That, right? Well, this is a tractor that, you know, somebody ground gears for 10,000 hours. <laughs> This one's not so terrible. Yeah, well, well, this one looks about like what we've got inside this. Wouldn't you say that's comparable to what we're seeing inside this, this tractor? This is, I'd say, a little worse than what we see inside this. Okay. You know, so it's really not that bad. These are okay. the gears that you slide in to get into your first, your second, your third, and your fourth. Uh huh. These, these are these gears. Okay, that all happens in this back section right here. Okay, high and low is on this, this shaft, shifts, okay? It goes through into this. That's, that's this fork right here. That, yep. that high and low fork goes right into there and pushes it forward and back. Exactly. It goes to this rod, which goes into this other forward chamber, okay, where there's a fork that reaches down into a setup like this. You've got the little gear. Ow. You've got the slip collar. Uh-huh. Right? And that's where the fork rides in yep, the groove. Yep. yep. So that's, that's this fork and that groove. Exactly. And then you've got this gear. And uh, what happens is... When you shift that lever, this collar slips between one of the two gears and shifts you in and out of high and low. So when you're grinding high and low, you're taking off these little dogs. Ooh, man. Right? That's what you're doing. These are the, that's the worst one we've got. So this really, that really looks terrible. I, uh, when I'm looking down in here and I can see it with my eye, I don't know if I can get it on the camera so good, but those are twice as good. I mean, they don't look as bad nearly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's some gouges. I mean... Yeah, they're not perfect by any means. Perfect, but uh, there's still a lot of life left in those. Now, we're just looking at those little tiny dogs that are down in there. Those little... Yeah. I almost... I can't get my finger in there to point them out. Oh. I probably can get the screwdriver in there and point them out. They're like this. Yeah, these guys here. Those little dogs. And they're down here, and you can just see them. And that... Right there. The smaller gears got on some, that side too. some chipping and stuff like that. You see chipping in what gear? The the, the one that the drives dogs. this? Yeah, exactly. But you know, the bottom line is there's a lot of life left in them. Yeah. So I ain't changing them. <laughs> we ain't wearing it out. No. And we also, we know what happens when you grind them. So we ain't gonna grind them. Yeah. <laughs> That's big too. That is big. So with a case matic you basically, you put it in high or low and then you start it. Yeah, pick a range. Especially when it's cold. Yep. All the weight of that spinning, and then you're trying to stop. You got to stop the internals of that casematic to stop the shaft so that the gear will engage. And they just grind and grind and grind. Yep. And um, actually, this one here, Connor, that was a clutch tractor that you took those gears out of. Yes. Yep. So they were probably just slamming back and forth all the time between high and low. Who knows what they were doing? Just constantly spinning. Okay. So when that is low. Is That's small driving big. That makes it low. Yep. Low looks really good on this. Yeah. High High's the one high that looks, looks a little, little, worse. little worse, but it really ain't bad. Okay, so all that to say, we're not going to panic over none no, of this. No, we're not changing them. They're as good as... As good as any 55-year-old uh, tractor? Yeah. <laughs> Are they perfect? No. The big problem with the 730 was it kept kicking out of gear because the detents were actually uh, gone. It's like they were gone. And that's what got you in there to start that's with. That's what got me in there and then I saw gears that sucked and I thought... Well, you know what? That's why we killed the gears. So then I got on eBay and I found uh, gears for like 35 bucks and I was like, yeah. eh, what the heck. Since I'm in here. See, it's kind of nice when people put stuff on eBay instead of throwing it in a scrap heap. Yeah, it is. Because it helps yep. people out. They made a couple bucks and we got gears we needed. If you're, if you're restoring a tractor or 
we're not really restoring a tractor. If you're getting a tractor back up on its feet, it's worth peeling the transmission cover off and looking at it, in my opinion. You know, I mean, oh, we're just going to get it running and start going at it, but, I mean... Well, you can. You already have the tractor split. It's a good time to look at the gears. If there was a gear in there to change... We're Now's the time to do it. Work. Yes, yes, absolutely. So, while while we're, we're, we're in kind of deep now. <laughs> so, yeah. we got in pretty deep, so... Pulling this cover off was a great idea. Sure. That was all Connor's that. idea. He wants me to take that cover off too, but I ain't doing it. Eh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. There's left to go wrong back there. Yeah, that's bull gears back there. Yeah, I yeah. don't know. Well, you know what? It, in all it's, fairness, it's on the 730 that you did fix, you fixed it because it was not operating right. Yeah, that was a that was a bunch of stuff. They have a... And that works great. Shift's good. Everything. You tuned it right in nice. Between these two sections, there is a collar with teeth that mesh onto these shafts and I've got that part too. Oh those that's the collar that shears off and leaves that you walking right? Completely wore out and uh, the tractor would not move anymore. Oh that's the main input shaft. Yeah. So that's the way it is. Oh I remember this together. thing, yeah. In, input shaft. It goes into this collar. Yes. That's why I tore into it. Just oh it quit moving. Yeah. So how many hours on a tractor to do that? Uh, I'd say quite a while. Because if you look at it, you see all the teeth are gone. You can see where the where the teeth, that's the original size of the teeth, and yeah. now you're down to these slivers. You really got to, which, hey. And now we've, <laughs> I threw a new one of these in for, I found one on for like 30 bucks, and I found those gears for 30 bucks, and I had, couple nights out here tearing stuff apart and okay. <laughs> this bolts to this housing right here right yep so that's bolted to this rear housing it's it's your input shaft it'd be like an input shaft on any transmission pretty yeah. much i wonder this has the same thing i imagine right i think it does so what do you think with the torque converter shape. drive the way it snaps in the gear you think it's in better shape or worse shape than that i'd have to look into the book to see if it's got the same setup but it probably does gosh i hate the thought of that thing doing something stupid should we tear it all apart no <laughs> <laughs> If it stops moving, we'll tear it apart. Well, we got a lot done on the tractor today. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.